We're stopping in once again <laughs> at the creamery. Just picked up this little guy. BJ! Hi, 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 hi! Whoa! You guys, I feel like Charlie in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I've got a golden ticket. <laughs> These are so awesome. Free coupons. I eat this ice cream, specifically dryers, every single day because they have the least amount of fat and the least amount of carbs in their ice cream. Please let me be your spokesman. <laughs> I'm having leftover shish kebabs. I got an email yesterday from YouTube demonetizing me. You are watching The Boy Family Juice. Hello! Unfortunately, our trip has come to a close. So the worst going home. We're stopping in once again <laughs> at the creamery. For some ice cream, some bathrooms, and some lunch. Hey guys, um, we're in the car, driving home from St. George. It's two hours sleep. Should we go? Just picked up this little guy <laughs> and about to go show him to all the kids who have missed him. Hey, buddy. Hi, Billboard. Billy boy. We actually watched Twister with Bill Paxton. It was my favorite movie, if you don't know, while we were at the Oasis. So let's go take you to all the kids, okay? Go say hi. Go say hi. DJ! I feel like Charlie in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I've got a golden ticket. <laughs> These are so awesome. It's like pure gold. Do you see the gold glimmer? I got my dryers free coupons. One free dryers product, 1.5 quart or larger. And they sent me quite a few of them. So you best believe I am going to my nearest grocery store and going to town. They're already fighting back at home. It says Julie and family. It's like a handwritten note from Dryers. Thank you for being a friend and showing the highs and lows life can bring. Please enjoy some ice cream on us. <laughs> so thank you to Dryers. Please let me be your spokeswoman. I will. I eat this ice cream, specifically Dryers, every single day because they have the least amount of fat and the least amount of carbs in their ice cream. And when I'm dieting, that's exactly what I look for because it just means that I can have more of it. You know, if I have full fat ice cream, then I can only have a half a cup. If I have half the fat ice cream, I can have double. You know what I mean? So thanks to dryers. Please let me be your spokesman. I will make good commercials for you. Hey you guys, dinner tonight was macaroni and cheese for the littles. And for me, I'm having leftover shish kebabs.
at least got to take home leftovers from this trip. So I'm not complaining about that. Okay, you guys, we're home from the trip. We've had dinner, kids are in the bath. I'm about to get people in bed. I have some news to share. And it's really discouraging news. I got an email yesterday from YouTube demonetizing me, just basically cutting me off, saying you do not, um, you're not abiding by the guidelines of YouTube. And you like are hereby sentenced to no money, <laughs> basically is what they're saying. So like I keep my subscribers, I can keep publishing content, but I'm making zero dollars from it. Initially, that was never the point of the vlog. It was to be able to document my own family history, to be able to put it up on YouTube because, you know, when I upload my videos to DVDs or when I burn, you know, videos to discs, like DVDs are going to become obsolete here in the near future too. So, I, I mean, how many people use DVD players today? Not as many that use wire, you know, streaming services. So things are changing. And so I, I wanted to get our family history and documentation up on a streaming service like YouTube. And who knows how long YouTube will last, you know? But I was just feeling so deflated. It's taken me four and a half years to build up an audience, to finally start making money on it. And in fact, right now, it's our only income because Alex is doing all of these curbside concerts for free, you know, because he's such a good person, but we're not making money from live concerts, you know? So that's just, it's really disheartening and I'm super frustrated and I cried because I'm like, I have spent so much time and you know, blood, sweat, and tears trying to understand the vlogging industry and the YouTube business and they just cut me off, you know? And I, I was vlogging before the rules came out about bloody thumbnails or my neighbor with a rifle threatening us with it and losing teeth, you know, because they don't want to see kids in distress. So um, they said you have 30 days to basically make your channel squeaky clean and then we'll review it to see if we want to monetize again. And so like part of me wants to just keep uploading content for you all. And, um, and you know, what's the sad part about this whole thing my strike that I had for Adana's cartwheel in, in a leotard was just barely taken off after three months. It was finally removed May 10th. And like two days later, they completely just shut my whole channel down. So it's alive and well, but it's just not making a cent. So, you know, why work if you're not making money? You know what I mean? You guys have any insight for me? I have to go through every single video and basically clean it, clean each video and take out the video where kids are in swimsuit, swimsuits, where kids are in leotards at gymnastics. Like, I don't know that I'm willing to do that. You know, I just don't know if I want to do that. That will take me hours and I can't, I don't have those hours when I'm homeschooling and when I'm, you know, got seven kids at home. I, I can't, I would, I, I like need to hire somebody. <laughs> But then I am going to be paying them with money that I don't have. Anyway, so that's where I'm at, you guys. Like, do I keep uploading and keep my subscribers building and growing, even if it's not making a cent? I don't know. And it's a really hard blow right now, especially when we have, like, no other income. So, anyway, that is just what is going on. Um, and I'll, I guess, keep you posted. But I might have kind of shorter vlogs because... I don't want to have to sit here and spend all this time editing when I'm not being paid for it. You know what I mean? At first, I, will, I wanted to document my family, but I was only going to do it a couple times per week. But then they said, well, if you want to make money on it, then you've got to do it every day because of the algorithm and because of, you know, how YouTube works and the auto bots and everything. And they'll push your feed into other people's feed and so your videos into other people's feed. So... I'm discouraged, you guys. I feel like I've worked so hard to get to this point. I feel like I have, you know, just done my best. And I feel like the rug was just swept out right from underneath me. So stay tuned, I guess. I don't know if my videos are going to be the same. I have to. And then, then the other thing is, like, what if I clean up the videos or I take out, you know, change thumbnails and change titles, you know? Like my most popular video is a Cheerio stuck up Ari's nose. It has like 20 something million views. Do I need to remove that one? 
Is that I mean he's crying? Is that a child in distress because he's got a Cheerio up his nose? Probably. I probably need to change that thumbnail. So anyway, that's where I'm at. I don't quite know how to go about this. Because what if they even after the 30 days they review my channel and they still say, Nope, you're still not gonna monetize. Like I don't I don't know what to do. Part of me wants to just move all my videos to my own website and hopefully get ads on my own channel. I mean on my own website. Do any of you have any insight? If you do, please get on to my Instagram. It's the Boye Family Jewels on Instagram. And um, you can direct message me there um, or comment on my last video and give me some insight because this, this is just so discouraging and I just feel deflated and like defeated. Like everybody's telling me that the YouTube system is broken and that they're kind of out to get family friendly vloggers because, because who knows why. Anyway, so wish me luck in the next 30 days because I honestly don't know what to do. Do I throw in the towel or do I keep uploading and clean up as much as I, of my channel as I can and hope for the best? What do you guys think? Anyway, thanks for always being there for us and for sticking with us this far because from May 13th until June 13th, I have now zero income. Not that that was ever the point, but it sure does help. You know what I mean? Sorry, you guys. And thanks for your support.